Okay, so here's question number two. In rabbits, we saw that homozygous dominant uh, for um, big C, big C is equal to normal legs. Then we saw that a hetero, the heterozygote form was deformed legs. Then we have little c, little c, and that's lethal. So if an individual um, inherits both those recessive alleles, then um, they don't, they're not born. And then uh, a second trait we'll be looking at is um, coat color. So we saw that uh, big B, big B equals um, black fur in rabbits. Then we have the heterozygous is uh, brown fur. And then homozygous recessive is white fur in rabbits. So now the question is asking us for the phenotypic ratio of a cross between a uh, deformed leg <laughs> brown rabbit crossed with a deformed leg white rabbit. So now your job then is to do a dihybrid cross that shows us um, the possible offsprings. So uh, if we set up a dihybrid cross, I apologize for my <laughs> misproportioned dihybrid cross. Uh, so we would take our possible gametes and fill them in along the top for the one parent and then over on the side. And then we fill in our Punnett square. I apologize for my sloppy writing. Oops, that's a big C, sorry, a big C. Okay, so now we need to find the phenotypic ratio. So one of the key things we should do is we should write down the possible um, genotypes that can be uh, found between these parents. So now um, it is possible to have normal legs in the offspring. And so normally you would do okay normal with black fur, but we can tell that in our parents here, uh, because one parent is homozygous recessive, uh, none of their offsprings will be um, uh, have black fur. It is impossible for these two parents to have um, a black fur offspring. So then our next choice would be normal with um, brown fur. Then another phenotype we'd look at is uh, normal legs with white fur. Then we want to see how many are deformed legs with brown fur. Again, I'm skipping black fur because uh, these two parents can't have any offspring like that. And then deformed fur, I mean deformed legs with white fur. Now, the um, we stop there. We don't do the uh, homozygous recessive because it is lethal. So if any um, offspring inherits this double uh, lethal allele, then they do not survive. So in our Punnett square here, we can just go ahead and cross out uh, these offspring. Um, they do not survive. Now, our job would be to count up how many of the offspring are normal uh, legs with brown fur. So first I'm just going to circle in blue all of the um, offspring that have normal legs. So that's my homozygous dominant. So here's a homozygous dominant. Here is one for the um, the C alleles. So here I have four that um, have the homozygous dominant combination and of these four two are brown and two are white furred. 
Then I'm going to look at my uh, <laughs> offspring that are have the deformed uh, legs. And if I find those, there's my heterozygote. So here's one. Here's another one. Here's one. There's one. Like that. So out of these, now there are um, eight offspring out of the 16 that have deformed legs. And in those eight, I need to see how many are brown fur and how many are white fur. So my brown fur uh, ones have um, our heterozygote for the B allele. So here is one, uh, two, three, and four. So out of those, I have four. And then for the, um, if we look at uh, how many have white fur? Out of those, we have uh, one, two, three, and four. So there are my four. So my ratio then, my overall ratio would be a two to two to four to one. And I can reduce that down to one to one to two to two. So that is my overall answer.